Alright, hello there and again time for some dungeoneering as Thursday is the day for Darkest Dungeon, so let's get ready and see what happens this time, considering the game is not very player player friendly, it could be said, so we should have interesting time again. Let's see see and try. So we the previous time it seems that we, we have a little bit of little bit of need for stress relief. It could be put put kind of like slightly putting it putting it lightly so actually with the higher level higher level types. So let's put them into stress relief as necessary. We do have pretty good part set, so that's not going to be an issue. Right. Always of course like like to go for some go for some drink, which is always a good way to relieve stress as, as it at least appears in the game. And then there is of course the gambling which is a bit more expensive but always good idea too. And in this case we only utilize a tavern which of course works. So we are in pretty good shape in that respect and we do not seem that to have too much else else to treat stress wise. Only one who could maybe also get treated is, is this because it's like half half the way to getting an affliction so we could also put put them them to meditate a bit so now we mostly have no problem at all with stress we are even managing it quite effectively which is not too usual let's see if we have enough not enough deeds, but let's see if we can exchange exchange heirlooms. We have the most, so busts into deeds. Actually, they can't be. What can be exchanged into deeds? Unsurprisingly, the shards can be, but the shards are quite valuable in general, so it's more useful to exchange. As we have 94 crests, exchanging crests into deeds is probably the way to go. We need 44 deeds, so considering we have 27, it's kind of useful as we do not need by far that many crests. So let's see. Alright, we need 40, 49 crests exactly for that, so it's not quite. And we can also exchange, actually those are the only things in addition, we can exchange the rest, like put a couple of shards into it, and now we can upgrade the armor smithing again, upon a strong arm and which, is, which is highly useful, as now we have the possibility to upgrade again the recruit level next. So that also both enables better better equipment for the highest level characters and gives the possibility to upgrade the recruit experience the final time once we have enough enough crests for that. So now it's time to collect more heirlooms from the dungeon in that respect. Ah, hello there Darkstorm. Great to see you. And of course, you also get the boob. Great to see you as always. Welcome to the stream. How has your day day been been this far? Right, and then we having done a bit of upgrades and mostly got the stress situation in check. Let's check level wise what would be would be good idea currently so we we should probably develop especially the lower level 
lower level characters here again so let's see about see about that we do not currently necessarily have need for equipment upgrades upgrades so as we are not going out with the high level team so more of we do have a healer also for the low level we could upgrade the healer's equipment and or skills for one so let's do let's do that and then then also skill upgrades as as possible so we of course always like to use the judgment as it also heals the healer and the usual mass and targeted heal and we have the illumination this haven't used ever much it's like reduces dots and increases torch all right it's kind of it's interesting let's try like illuminate together with together with judgment so a bit a bit different especially the mage bash is not it's not that useful because it requires the healer to be quite front to beat with the maze and it necessarily doesn't improve improve the overall situation to keep the healer that front so it could be interesting to try the illumination out as it also reduces dots which is useful for some especially for some things that tend to be really really hard to hit so would say that would be a pretty nice idea. Great to see you. You also, of course, get the, get the way. We have been mostly getting things things uh, together in the village for the first. Oh, hello there, Stro. Great to see you. Very nice, both both coming coming along. Welcome to the stream. We were just setting things up in the hamlet, so we have nice nice situation there and upgraded a bit so we are ready to ready to go for the first first dungeon dungeon tonight would say so good time to arrive to the stream also so let's then see see what we should we need to find heirlooms for sure and we upgraded the healer a bit so we should have pretty good pretty good set of we have space in the roster and could use a low level fighter so let's see level two man at arms that would be the ticket ticket for sure the raw strength of youth may be spent, pretty good but his also eyes upgraded skills of a hundred campaigns interesting interesting choices let's let's go with the man at Man at arms, not bad at all. Great, we should be good to impart. So, let's see what quests we have to choose from. We have mostly, mostly level 7. Seven, except the wealth is only level two, so should at some point continue that the farmstead should try again. Tried it a few streams ago and pretty much got kicked out, so that would be interesting, but requires much higher, higher level, higher level. So then we have. Veteran in the Warrens, we do have one short apprentice level scout mission and indeed fish for dinner. We do have 
we do have an apprentice level medium length quest in the cove, so our promise in the stream title of fish for dinner would seem to be a good idea here, so let's go for that, so take our healer. Possibly could take the antiquarian, certain, certainly take the man at arms. Should certainly upgrade the weapons on the Chester. Like, let's do that first. There we go. Could even do level 3 weapons, but not yet. That's better, better. And let's tune the parts a bit. We have quite a few. Plus four speed for the antiquarian. Need to put that on someone for sure later on. Did we have yet have any trinkets here? One chalice. Let's put another chalice along for them. Like carry two chalices. Should look pretty good. Let's sell sell some more common common items items here for a bit more parts that there we go that's pretty much sufficient to embark embark on now we have upgraded the weaponry a little for the chester so preferred position is the second second behind so then we still need always nice also with the grave robber robber so good take them as the final final member member for this this dungeon very good so we are ready to proceed We got pretty good amount of food also from the granary. That should be more than enough, even if getting trouble. Let's take a few keys and sufficient amount of torches. So around 20 is more than enough. It's good to have enough illumination. That should be it pretty much. And we should have more than one shovel. Let's take four shovels. Should be enough. Unless there are like really many obstacles. Good. These salt-soaked caverns are teeming with pelagic nightmares. They must be flushed out. All right, we check the map. Ah, very good. Hopefully, Kamu, Kamu is here as we immediately get some scouting, and we need to complete 100% of room battles. There's a Room battle there, so first of all we need to visit that room. Pretty full, like we have a secret door. We do not yet need a secret door, really. Then we have a curio. Nothing inside. Nice chest, though. Barnacle encrusted chest, but empty. And fight. Let's see how this goes, so we can... Attack the rare two here, which is always useful, and also hits the shaman. It's also touch them. Eight damage, very nice ball. Right, the shaman, shaman fled out. That's good. Ah yeah, this this guy has the nice nice feature that we can hit with the beak, which is quite effective. And it looks stylish like. 
There we go. Only one, one left to attack us here. Which they do pretty effectively. Now we can't really do much else than buff others with the Chester as... Chester as uh, there's nothing, nothing in the behind but the attack. Touchman. The wounds of war can be healed. Beat. And there we go. Beat to the face and done. Some extra food. <laughs> 24 food. We are not certainly going to starve. That is, that is for sure. Which is of course good. It's better to not starve. Do you think there was the video game also? Do not starve. Which of course is very good advice. You you should not should not starve by accident. As like forget to, forget to consume food. Or at least in this case, clear. get hunger enough times and run out of food. But yes. And another fight, alright, there's a trial, so we deal with that first, to not have any surprises, explosion-wise. Fortunately, they take some time to explode, so we have time, time to hit them. Here we get a bit of damage in already, also. Those two, five, not bad. We get rid of the trial, yes. That no makes it safer that we can carry a bit without having a crazy unpleasant explosion. Alright, everyone is pretty much bleeding with both place in our hand. And also, right, shaman. Shaman Dodge and there was also some protect. Let's heal there. Only spell. More than enough, certainly. And then we have to beat up the Guardian. Guardian next. On height 11. That's pretty effective. You can also, of course, do the daggers here. A bit, bit of damage, please. Some healing. Alright, eight. That's pretty good. We can again get some bleeding out of these. It's actually very efficient as long as you can pause enough. Let's heal here. Alright. Man at arm heal speed. Alright, we do still have plenty of Space for stress, but the, um, these are not like really starter characters, so they still do have pretty good amounts of pretty good amounts of tolerance for stress. Let's try some poison darts on the shaman. All right, the darts themselves did enough damage, damage to get rid of them. Then we again beat the Pelagic Guardian. Dodged, good. And the uh, Pelastic Guardian fled out. The Chester is pretty nice because typically the Chester causes bleeding. Alright, let's buff because there's not much else the Chester can do anymore. Like later, loot a bit and sing. Alright, heal the man at arm again. Taking quite a bit of hits here. Alright, let's throw, throw some darts at them. Fly, good. Alright, didn't matter much as... Uh, Alright, not, not bad treasure, bad treasure at all. And then, we do have the heirloom chest and we can use a key here. Or, oh, nice, 12 crests. Certainly refilling our heirloom. Stone, all right, we can immediately take the trinket to use, so save some inventory inventory space also. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Let's 
So anything else with anything else with Kisu Kisu today? How did your Beat Saber stream go? Didn't really have time to join as was then still at work. Right, that finishes that room off. Now we can maybe try the secret secret door also. Let's see if we can find the secret door. It should be somewhere here, yes. Where did we end up at? It's an extra room like with a throne throne that has skull on it and box that looks like like a one from like somebody's backyard storage shed. Like old filing box. Alright, we can use a key. A fortune waiting to be spent. Three puzzling trapets ahead rooms. Wow. Three point five thousand each. This is this is like this is like really good find. Let's throw throw away a few things. Few things which we certainly do not need as much and that's like that's like ten ten thousand ten thousand five hundred money. Just like that. Very nice find. Certainly worth checking out the secret the secret door and having the right key. Right, and back in the starting room. Right, there's a fight immediately coming up. Good, good. That was like really good find, find finance wise. Let's put a bit of food into the man at arms and go on the fight. Right, not too bad, couple of. Normal, normal attack fish and the famous, famous sea snail and the shaman. So let's immediately strike at the shaman. Right. Sea snail takes kind of poly damage and probably the shell protect very well. Right. Let's put some chemical warfare to use with the shame and nine. All right. Some healing coming up soon. Right. That's the most one problem. Dodge put. Right, that's not much. <laughs> what? You can actually make the snail bleed. Haven't seen that before, do you think? Considering how little how little health they actually have, that's kind of useful. Heal their feet and then let's let's also throw some poison dart there. Alright. And then Again, six damage, so and some healing is on the cards too. Alright, the shaman is probably going to die of poison pretty soon. We can actually hit them, so we moved everything. Not bad, not bad at all. Now we again need to consider inventory space. We already have some jade, so that we are taking. And then we still have one key left that might be valuable considering what it can open. We do not yet know if we need to camp, so we shouldn't really. Two busts are not really as useful as 750 gold. At least having one pile of gold for now is useful, so let's go go that way. 
right. That was really 50 gold, but four crests, so it wasn't too bad in that respect either. Nice. So then we then we look at the map and there's no room battle at least there, but we do not know about the room beyond. So let's move there first. We can in any case continue continue upwards. Alright, more scouting, so now we actually know there's a room battle there, so we actually need to go this way first. His arm, yes, great. Even the Chester can do it. Three hundred gold first test. for three gold. Not bad. Alright, the Brackish Tide Pool. Let's see what if you put anti venom into the tide pool water is purified wow that was actually a good idea like let's add some anti venom to the water and get refreshed kind of expensive though you were healed a few points and you used one anti venom so actually that was not necessary such a good deal but it was interesting like anti venom purified the brackish tide pool water so it's kind of stylish but certainly not the most efficient exchange ever, like uh, the anti-venom is certainly more valuable in combat, so wouldn't necessarily do that again, but it was interesting, like also used for anti-venom. Right. And then, then we have, we have the time to move move on here so next corridor has obstacle trap and curio so it's pretty full of stuff but we do have shovels another mariner another misfortune way open and there's the trap all right this arming wasn't really Careless exactly a success no oh well have some food Right, thousand gold, not bad. Two food extra, not bad either. Alright, then we could use space for another pile of gold, but not going to bother with that yet, as we have the puzzling trapezohedrons, which is like more than a few piles of gold. They are really, really efficient at that. Right, haven't hadn't seen a jellyfish for a while. Let's illuminate. There we go. And such the shame. Nine. Not bad. Alright, let's see. And four both. At least the rare one of leaves. Right. <laughs> the, the, the darts did too much damage. Seven. Ouch. Ah, dodge. Good. Alright, he protect, but we attack him, him then. That didn't do too much, but... Alright, judgment is nice, because it always also heals the... Heals the healer. Alright, got rid of the jellyfish. Dodged, good. Strike at the Guardian. A 
Alright, the corpse bleeds, not the most useful application ever. Alright, some chemical warfare. Also, Blight was redirected through Protect, which is interesting. Let's heal. This should ah oh, missed. Otherwise would have probably finished the combat. You can still still attack here as Alright, Chester kills. Nice. Extra shovel. This expedition at move charm. You can probably put the move charm into inventory directly. Some a bit of food. Let's leave the gem. There we go. And then we have to backtrack a little, but a little only. Also, stress has gone pretty well. We only have like the man at arms is even suffering from any meaningful amount of stress. All right, what's in the sack? Glittering gold, More gold. trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. Not really. Still feeling like getting rid of anything for more gold. Extra torch, all right. Empty room with scenic background, though, like a lost city. Move and then continue. Barnacle crusty chest, all right. Can you actually do? Use like some item for advantage there. Nothing inside, at least that wasn't very advantageous in any case. Yeah, food to burn, so just eat some. Enter. Another empty room with a ruin. Scouting, yay. Alright. Curio obstacle, then next room battle in a couple of rooms. Another barnacle and crusty chest. Right. Resisted bleeding, so no problem. Shovel. And the room, and next room after this has again a room battle. Food to burn. Getting the hunger effect quite a few times now. A Again more gold. A By now I don't food. think we'll be camping, so let's replace the firewood with more gold. Alright, big guy. Such Shootist. Also poison them. Strike the front too. Rare for Chester because the big guy is so thick that you get to strike both slots. Alright, nine for the big guy, nice. The shoot is expired from poison. Seventeen, all right. The point blank shot is quite angry, angry effect. Let's heal, help a bit. All 
right, we can only use the big axe from the front. Let's then hit with the big axe. Eight damage, so not bad at all. Right, strike. Great is the out. Cuts on its own. Eight again, so played out. Falls. Pretty good treasure, one extra key. Four crests more. Still more jade, 600 gold, so... Four crests more. Should we consider getting rid of something? Yes, get rid of four food, more heirlooms. Great. Sips figure head. Marvelous aura. Alright, let's try. Inspired. Nice. Alright. Yes, and then we can, then we can move on here, right, there's still at least one room battle remaining and we have no scouting for now, so let's, oh, that's the curio, what's kind of fun, so is the room battle left, but fortunately not, the symbol simply doesn't update. Nothing inside again. Already third of these, that's empty. Really? Alright, the crate. <laughs> empty! Alright, new dice please. New dice please. Alright, fight. Touch the shaman. Let's put some darts also into them. That should end them pretty quickly with the flight. Middle two, some resisted bleeding hold out. Alright, shaman expired, bled out. Alright, get rid of the jellyfish. There we go. Heal everyone a bit. God's good. Alright, we can we can either hit there or buff. Let's buff everyone. A bit of nice music. God's good. Eight, not bad. Pickaxe 5, they are probably like, what, 1 HP, yes. Let's give the others some poison dart. Fly it, alright. 7. Let's touch them in turn. Right, let's buff again. Not much use, use, hitting, hitting corpses only. This should finish the fight, yes. Ruby, wow, that's nice value. Two deeds, really nice. I don't really believe in need of shovels anymore. Emerald, 500 gold. Really good. Treasures. Going to start getting rid of like everything pretty much. The keys are still nice, unlike. There we go, pretty treasure laden inventory. Fish idol, kind of unsure if want to touch that currently, like bad luck. 
And there's still one fight in the last room as we haven't finished the quest, so one fight to go. Kind of starting to have a little bit less necessities, but... Alright, bus relief, let's see what that does. Nervous, yep, that went well. Need to treat for that at some point. The light, the promise of safety. Alright, fight on the corridor. Two jellyfish even. Touch the tape. Alright, he was touched and annihilated. Touch and found found wanting most most probably. Alright, a bit of harvest. Hit with the pickaxe and the morning star. There we go. Alright. Resist. Good. Harvest again, like they will bleed out pretty soon. If nothing else. Alright, pickaxe, and that takes care of them. 300 gold more, Success two busts. The keys are still kind of keeping so. Can we get rid of anything really anymore if we want to keep the keys? Not really, so let's drop those. Still want to keep the key if the last room has a treasure chest. Alright, that trap didn't fortunately too much. It has it. Wow, that was good. Good guess. Good guess. Alright, some bopping going on there. Dodge the stressful incantation, like here nothing. <laughs> How to get some harvest? Alright, that went pretty well. Alright, let's put some let's put some poison darts into the game and Alright, bleed. We do not have any more bandages, so bleed and strike. Of course it's a good idea to have bandages, but not always possible if you have so much treasure in inventory. <laughs> Easier to just heal whatever damage of yours. Let's get rid of the shaman here. Ah yeah, protect. Oh well. Strike those two. Cult is please quite a bit now. Resisted push, good. More poison darts. Also protect. Now pretty. Let's hack the corpse out. Eight. All right, critical hit. Surprisingly, plenty moral effect when we. Consider it didn't do that much. Alright, the cult is fired. Let's heal here as they are still bleeding. Bandages are luxury. Alright, even more poison darts. Alright, the shaman died of flight. Right, we got rid of the corpse by accident. Always try to click at the right square. Would advise. Heal again. They are still bleeding. Wow. Buff. Let's again add some dust. Flight several times. Alright, nine damage from flight. That certainly does it. Extra thoughts isn't very necessary. Alright. Then we have to open the chest. 
Right. Pretty good amount of heirloom. Now we can get rid of the key. And torches, so we have space for even more heirlooms. You can also get rid of the food. All the treasure fit. And now we are done. With the first At quest last, tonight. Wholesome marine life can flourish. Wholesome marine life can flourish there if indeed such there a is such a thing. Some might consider that to be true, a bit like the Conservation, conservation thing. Try to rename, rename the fish into sea kitten, so it would be less cold and slimy to people think about when it's a sea kitten. Do not think that was the most successful public relations campaign ever, but there you go. So maybe what marine life is more wholesome if you call it a sea kitten. All right. Base rewards plus 18,000, so that was actually, and plenty of heirlooms, 40 crests, 40 deeds, and a bit, bit of others, so that was actually really successful quest. And also increased level here, here for some, so that was not bad either. Alright, replaced enlightened, that went well. Ruins tactician. Alright, that's a bit better. Eagle eye. Leta uh, Archie. Minus four speed. Yeah, we should probably treat them for that. They should be less lethargic to actually fight. Like, minus four speed on what is not in the, the first place. The like the fastest guy around. So, when compared to the it used stress. Alright, lost 500 gold after becoming tipsy and buying around for the house. Doesn't sound too un uncommon. Alright, and level increase indeed. Not a bad, bad run at all. Oh, hello Priares! And Kamu, great to see you. As, we, as you saw, we had nice scouting, so it's of course good to have the bat along. Welcome. Welcome both to the stream. Great to see you. And also Ragabash. Good. We do have pretty good viewership already here, so you also get a wave, you fox. Alright. And then we are good to do whatever is needed to do in town, so let's see. What we need. Right, we have been doing. Doing around 48 minutes, so we'll do at least another dungeon still, still tonight, so. Not a bad time to join the stream either. So, let's see, we do have certainly enough budget so we can upgrade also a bit. The high level characters are now in pretty good shape. And does anyone really need to even relieve stress? Not, not necessarily, but we could do a higher level thing now so we can really... First of all, we should treat, treat our good Man at arms for lethargic. Alright, so it's a. Yes, lethargic. There we go. Maybe a bit faster, faster guy emerges. Otherwise, there isn't that much stress to even take care of. Could again go out with the. Level level six characters, and as we have the parts that could upgrade their armor where necessary, so even better chains for the abomination. There we go. These have even nice skulls on them, must be better. And also we can upgrade. I 
these are still app friendly in taverna. Uh, here we can actually upgrade both both items for. Alright, looks good. A bit of upgrades. Upgrades for good good budget, so that certainly improves improves capabilities also. Let's see what high level stuff we have available, so let's take the high level guys out. We could try the farmstead again. It's only veteran, but it's quite quite difficult one. Let's see if they agree to go after it. Yeah, that's good. It's kind of a problem that our good healer healer is still still in the tavern. Of course, it's nice nice to go for a night out, but fortunately we do have also also fifth level. This could use some upgrades, certainly. Very good, but kind of low level equipment when we think that only level two. So let's improve at least a couple of levels. There we go. We could try the farms that it's kind of dangerous, but it's also interesting. So let's have a go at horrors of the farms that next. Last time we certainly didn't succeed. So let's see what happens. All right, and then we need two others. So let's take the shield breaker and the and the grave robber. Robber most probably would be pretty nice. So we should have some good potential for potential for fighting. Let's see what let's see what happens. This is going to be dangerous, but Swine King not going after the Swine King, but we go to the farmstead and let's see what happens. This is pretty good rewards, but it's quite dangerous. Unsure how much shoveling there is here, but we equip just like we would be taking on a normal normal medium dungeon and see what happens. So we take also keys. That should be good enough here. Let's take even more food. Unsure how, how difficult this is in that respect. And then we are pretty well well equipped for most kinds of trouble. Always dangerous the farms that last time we certainly came back quite beaten and probably with a couple of couple of or at least one expiration it was not the Ah yeah, noticed that Kisu some time ago. Was expecting it already for some time as teams because there was no information after the two votes. It uh, seemed pretty clear that they are negotiating with the venues, venues from that there was no communication. So was pretty much expecting that it comes towards the end of the week as they have negotiated. So it came pretty much as ex expected. Of course, reduces the vacation spent for this time. So, in turn, we just won one room for Confasod with our good fox. So, we are certainly uh, using the resources towards Confasod rather, and ha then have NFC again waiting next year, hopefully for us. Yep. Alright, and then we, then we go. Celestial Cornerstone, I'm sure like 
But if you use a shovel, alright, no effect. Uh, what else could we use? A key, no effect. Holy water, no effect. We have tried most things that come to mind. Anti-venom, no effect. Bandits probably does nothing. Alright, unsure if any item has any effect on that. You just open it. Alright, and now we now we fight. Faintly remember these were somehow dangerous like explo explode or something, so let's get rid of that first. And then we have more usual troubles here. Alright, 11 is a good start. Heal everyone and keep fighting. But never hidden. Sixteen is certainly nice. Throw some daggers. A faint hope blossoms. All right, that gets rid of the scarecrow. Let's touch. All right. <laughs> That was a big damage for such 20. Alright, so we are good to... Good to go on. Ah, more! Great, and we have the big guy. Alright, buff the rabble. Yeah, you are right, Kamu. That is, of course, quite, quite demanding in that respect. It is kind of unfortunate. But uh, do think that, uh, considering the overall evolution of the situation, there are pretty good chances for events uh, further, further on more summary time this year. So we will see, for example, about FWH and later on again yeah it's kind of not the best time for holiday uh, if there there is like not much not much to do in february of course of course understandable yeah it's kind of uh, also starting to feel somewhat disconnected, especially as would meet like over 50% uh, or even communicate with like over 50% of those that knew only at events because would do the 6-7 events every year and would meet them at almost every event. So it has changed like somewhat those who that actually communicate with because many do not even know what things they have online because always met them at like 5 events a year. So it's indeed starting to be a bit of an issue, but expecting like hope, hopeful for recovery in the coming coming period for that also. It's of course only a matter of sufficient time in that respect, so we wait and we shall we shall certainly continue as possible. And we also strike with a dagger. Put. And not that much need for healing, so let's do some judgment. Then, not bad at all. Dodged, good. No, no hit with the hoe. Alright, some more damage to the big guy. No trespassers, alright, seven. Too bad, need to heal though. Oh, don't 
gods. Ouch, this is an issue. To a degree at least. Alright, critical dagger. Nice. And then we get to Let's see if we do impale everyone, get some damage. Alright, that, that's nice. And also some flight. Then we get to heal. Heal our good shield breaker. Do like shield breaker style a lot. Alright, that removes the other farm hand. Alright, and then we have the crystals, so let's break some crystals. Rid of the crystals, good. Let's charge the big guy. Alright, that gets rid of them, and then we have the really low, like 1 HP farmhand. There we go, and do we still have more to come? Yes. Alright, that's always worrying the crystal thing. Alright. Seems safe enough for now. It never is. Right, do you think we can pick up some crystal shards from that? But does it require use of like some item? Let's just try. Right, we got some got some crystal, nice. And Unsurpri somewhat surprisingly, we actually actually got away pretty well, like transported elsewhere, but not the last time we got into some really difficult place. Now we actually just got into some store, storeroom with some crystal even. Nice. Not bad at all. So, how has Camus Day been otherwise? Of course. And also, how has Briarels been it has been a while since I have seen you on stream, so always good to see you. So, we move onward. <laughs> Worryingly, we keep going. We have one third of like the farm set. Whatever that is. Alright. At least it costs stress and nice new effects. Visually. Cleaning, unsure what that exactly does, but it certainly does. Let's hit the... Let's put some poison darts into the gold. Fly, nice. Then hit the... Worm. Right, we have anti-venom. Much for healing, so let's touch the goal. I'm sure if one wants to take back the farmstead, but we try. Festering fear consumes the mind. Right, that removes one maggot from the equation. Right, and immediately a crystal, nice. Uh, let's hit the crystal. We don't really let those purity. remain. Right. Spare. Five, alright, let's heal some next. Ten, not bad, not bad. Eight. Right. Let's use some anti venom and get rid of that. One he one should be enough eradicated. Alright. 
haven't seen one of these before. It's bigger and has some nice tentacles. Haven't ever seen one of these before. Alright, of course, everything obeys damage sooner or later. Thirteen damage is good to obey. Alright. Resistive, so no more horror. Heal the shield breaker. Good. Tentacle devour. Alright. Deep up only though, so not terribly bad. Let's put some more chemical warfare into the goal. Singular strike. Alright. Use anti-venom. Poke at the tentacle thing. Alright, it's worse for them also. Skaltos, mostly a morale effect, but some damage, pretty much damage for the healer. Let's charge and heal that way for the healer. Good. We can pray. Alright, does it also deep up again? All right. Eight back. What they are down to do? Let's hit them with the big axe. Nice. They are at least gone. Even a large corpse, but we can also get rid of the gold with the spear still. All right, we are about halfway through this, and still in pretty good condition. Probably more stuff will appear soon, so... Let's keep hitting the corpses then. Yep, crystals. Let's get rid of those then. Another one falls. They have 6 HP, so... doing pretty well and got rid of all of them in time good all right some spectral spectral swine next it tends to basic work day all right it's of course good it was not somehow more problematic uh, good to hear still, and of course hugs for the hugs for the bat very much. We will, we will prevail. I said. Ah, uh, timings have been a bit off. Oh, hopefully you can join join us more often in the future. More interesting extension course. All right. So more charging. Very good. And let's keep fighting on the farms that now we have apparently entered the big sty with the, all the swine, so let's keep going. Actually, do not like the small one that likes to throw up, so let's put some poison darts into them. Masterfully executed. Exactly, that's more or less morale effect mostly and of course immediately get the disease oh well hook not too much damage fortunately let's get rid of that no more moral effect except the drums of doom yep we also have the drummer here so let's beat some at the drummer and heal everyone. Five, nice. Eight. All right, out. All right, the healer is getting affliction soon. 
There are also some crystal FPS. Let's hit the grammar again. Right, and then we can hit the crystal is bare. There we go, good. Alright, the drummer has what one HP. Alright, and masochistic, alright. Fortunately, to the healer is not the main problem. Usually, at refusing healing. Oh, missed, great. Let's get rid of the drummer. No more drums of doom, please. There we go. All right, and the tentacle thing. Let's start by beating, beating. Let's put some poison into the big swine. There we go. And then we keep getting the hook. Good. Heal, please. Right. Let's keep getting rid here because we can put, that removes the hook from the play. Then just keep hitting the tentacle thing also. Tentacle Devour, yes. Alright, Cultist. Let's worry about the Cultist. Let's put some more Chemical Warfare to the play. Alright, this is pretty usual. The Cultist. Get rid of that. No more ball and chain for you. Kill everyone again. Still surviving. This is kind of... The farmstead is pretty horrible. Right. Then we have the tentacle thing. Let's keep beating it. And a crystal, so we need to poke at that with the spear. Put some chemical warfare to cultist. This for the crystal. Yeah, that went well. And then dodged great for once. Heal there. Everyone is pretty much at full health, so we are only going crazy with this boss. 11, alright, so some, some healing needed next. Let's hit them back, alright, that was rid of them. Alright, and again we are transported somewhere else. Seems safe enough. But the symphony will soon really willing to take chances with that, like we have different thing with the crystals. Now we are two thirds of the way, so let's have a bit of food into who needs it. Oh. And we also seem to have some new viewers, so welcome to the stream. You of course get the way we are fighting the horrors of the farmstead in Darkest Dungeon, and it's of course the farms that does a lot to sanity of both the heroes and the player, because it's quite among the worst places in the game, would say. Of course, in addition to the eponymous 
darkest dungeon, but yes. Not even going to touch that because do not like the thing and then we press onward. Alright, more normal farm workers, so that works for us. Let's start fighting them. Some daggers, please. Alright. Alright, move forward. Move backward, please. <laughs> that was not the most useful turn ever, but it is what it is with people going crazy. Alright, and win. Good. And some more hole to the face, but dodged. Alright, crystal. Destroy crystal. Good. More daggers. Yes, please. Six and six. Not bad. Dodged even the crystal shards. Dodged. More. Damage. Good. Judgment here. All right, let's get rid of them. All right, more, more people. And more daggers. Dots more. All right, haunting revelation. So horror and some stress. Not too bad. Let's do the impale and damage everyone some. Flight for everyone also, nice. Flight, alright. Heal. Momentary abatement. And more hope. These farm hands are really doing their thing. Ah, uh, day was pretty good. Pretty busy day at work and then rested a bit and uh, watched, watched the snooker shoot out for a while and then uh, Game came online. Also, what struggle play Monster Hunter Rise for a while? Then came online, online oneself. So, not a, not a bad day either, would say. Uh, have been skiing at times, not very lately. Was careful last weekend to not exercise too much with the. Uh, uh, ooh, ooh, you struggle. Indeed, mentioned that you were playing Monster Hunter Rise earlier, and we success uh, this one successed that the MHC means Monster Hunter K9. But yes, uh, ski weather is all right ish now that there's ra rained a bit more snow. Snow, it snowed more, so would go skiing this weekend probably. Was careful last weekend with the third vaccination to not exercise too much. Yeah, also the Palico, indeed. And Struggle also gets a gets a wave, of course, per personally. You, you, Avali, you. There we go. And we need to still beat the horrors of the farmstead, so let's proceed for more fighting. Alright. And missed good start again hmm let's see some dagger all right and one of the farm and also expired 
and anti-venom impale not currently so let's put some damage there dodged wood all right now we have time to move a bit of an advantage to be in the right order. Right, that certainly got rid of them. And more crystals. Right, that didn't quite destroy them yet, but almost. Impale should help everything. Yes, that worked. We are almost full meter here, so we are making it through. Let's touch the corpse. There we go. And then we should be getting... We can now like heal and something. We should be getting more travel pretty soon. Yes. Nice horse you have, Mr. Farmer. Alright, and we do have the... Sleepers Herald, so we might be transported. Let's try to destroy it first. There we go. So we stay at the farmstead instead of going somewhere else. We are not crazy enough yet, so we continue. Touch the horse, not a good horse. To Chloe. <laughs> it's like the Chloe bits we claim and such. Alright. There we go. Then we need to take care of the farm and almost full, so we are getting through. And more crystal, sir. Let's get rid of those hopefully soon. Let's impale. Alright, seven. Get rid of the crystal, good. Heal everyone. Alright, and get transported. This time we had no time to get rid of that. Alright, there's like something we can again check out. Let's check out anyway. Miller's heart. Let's put it. We have no torches, so we can't put that there. What we would try. Food is not an option. Key. Hmm. Or we could put comet shards in there. That apparently does nothing. Let's just check it out. Flame's color is somehow wrong. Gathered close in tenuous firelight. Yep. We actually pain. camped with less than normal fire. Alright, no problem, we get usual benefits, so let's have some camping benefits and possibly go crazy. <laughs> Sounds good. Of course it also allows us to reduce stress, so not too bad. Let's see what happens. Probably we'll get ambushed or go more crazy in some sense. No, that was for once like camping. Plan to play cooking simulator. Certainly, it's still in the schedule. 
have not just lately played that, but certainly it's still in the cards. For example, the coming weekend could again even go cooking if you want. It's certainly, it's certainly possibility. So, if you want some cooking, we can certainly go for some cooking, cooking then no problem at all. Alright, and then we go onward again, like... And here's the... Filled with blood. Miller himself, so this is the boss here. Let's start by seeing if he can be blighted. Yes. So, we should spam that, at least. The Miller is certainly starting to take it. Master becomes, does he summon farmhands? Yes. Of course, those are just farmhands, not too worrying. Alright, let's touch them. Winter spread rolls. Unsure what uses freezing the farm and but do not like that, so let's hit them. There we go, at least it's not going to cause some disaster immediately. Right, that's not good. Don't want to get transported, so let's hit that. Some moral improvement also. Alright, everyone takes damage from the sky, alright. And let's heal heal everyone in turn. Compassion is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. Let's hit the Miller again with the Poison guards. Spear. 15, not bad. Almost halfway. Harvest, alright. Not bad, it's just normal. Hit with the skies. Such the Miller. Do not like you. Reaping, so it's a, again damage everyone. Alright, poison went away, so normal hit for 14. More poison darts, please. Resist it, but blight, yes, great. 12 focus spare. And the scarecrow. All right. Heal everyone, please. Dodged good. Not not even the sky hits every time. Alright, good night, struggle. You of course get a wave, so sleep well and hope to see you soon. Ah, Gizu has redeemed Kite the Raid. We are certainly going to follow the instructions once we finish. We are probably still going to, of course, finish the Miller off and then treat as necessary, so it's pretty much right time to Kite the Raid as we are coming up to the use of one and a half hours. Well chosen, Kisu. And for once we started on schedule, so our timeline is flexible because it's only coming up to midnight, so that's very nice. Oh, yeah, it would have been nice to have also free areas for skiing, skiing as, as we know, but remember you immediately said you had other commitments then. So, the uh, Miller still needs needs to be 
put off. So let's hit him. Not as afraid of the scarecrow because we if we beat him we uh, we win so and more chemical warfare. Alright. Sixteen, getting close. Haunting revelation. Let's see how much horror. Horror at least. Keep beating at the Miller. Alright, he's close, close to losing. And some skies again to the face. Alright. Let's heal everyone a bit. And keep doing that. The Miller died of died of poison. Alright, we survived this the farm Wow, that was quite hard. The normal treasure was not much because we really didn't find anything else than 27 kills. Alright, and the base rewards. So some comet shards and some heirlooms and rare bloody herb that's pretty nice then accuracy plus 30 fleet skill and plus 20 melee skills it has no drawback even it's a nice nice trinket and even nobody except the healer went crazy so minus five critical range Kills. That must, that's not too bad. Nymphomania, alright. <laughs> also Nymphomania, clearly. Or is tactician, alright. And let's put the healer into treatment. Nobody else really even needs any. Three actors rise. Standing duties here have affected him. Plot quest. Alright, we could next time probably try to get some kind of gains from attacking the Shrieker. So there's additional special quest. And our good healer. healer. Alright, this other healer has found their way back from their a bit longer night out. And then this in turn could use some stress treatment. So. Alright, let's not go to the hospital though. Let's go and have some have some drinks at the bar. Good. Ah yeah, yeah. Gator cuts also mentioned the 75 hour hour special, so certainly it's a good good idea to go go for raid there so let's see about like should we still do one short quest here especially with the lower level guys considering we have the time let's do one low level quest and then raid raid the foxy so a bit more dungeoneering still Alright, the farms that would have begin the harvest. Alright, you can now harvest harvest like end game condition, unbearable reflection. Somehow that doesn't sound very promising. Defeat as many enemies as possible and then you get of course more more comet shards. So we did pretty much the content defeating the miller for the farms that, that was quite hard. So let's do one easy quest. We would have in the Warrens one level one quest or champion. Yeah, not that. We have only champion ones in the ruins. Veteran. Mm. Let's do the wealth. We have done that the least. So let's change team. And we have the level one of cultist, so that would be a good idea. Also, 
the man at arms comes along again and so does the grave robber. Good, we have a team. Ah, ah, that explains it even more when they are moderating. Certainly, certainly explains that. So, let's then proceed to have the final expedition. Let's check that we still have the right one chosen also. Yeah, that's the, that's the right, right one for weld. Yes, this is the one we want to go for. Alright. Twenty food. Certainly now. Four shovels. Especially anti venom comes in handy. Uh, a few keys, please. Twenty torches should be. All the torches, we are not at least getting stuck in the dark. <laughs> if you live for risk and darkness, by all means bring few torches. Yep. I knew all these all right. once. Good now to go. As twisted as my own ambitions. Not a very big level. Ah. That's the heirloom, alright, for crests. Awarded to the brave and Crap. foolhardy yep. alike. Only stress, really. First room. And fight. Big guy and everything. Such the cutest. There we go. <laughs> Poison dart the themselves problems. killed the shootist. Let's do some abyssal artillery. That looks nice also. The big guy. Dodged good. Punishment. Alright, some punishment then. I started to bleed, so it was pretty punishing. Right. Heal. Alright, then with the pickaxe. Then with the maze. Bandits. Yeah. Oh, okay. Alright, it's not important to do much for the man at arms. Alright, not much luck there. Six. Heal. Alright, good. Twelve. Right, not much damage. That works. Give them no quarter. Rain of whips, everyone got only one damage. And some moral damage. Such them. Five, not bad. They have like what? One HP. <laughs> there we go. Champion falls. Alright, more heirlooms. Unlocked strong box that you can't really trap, so I'm sure if you can really remove the trap with anything. Because it's not locked, you can't use a key.
curiosity bar. Uh, what do you mean, Kisu? <laughs> right, next. There's corp, not really willing to check that. Usually not, not much luck. Very long corridor, next room. Empty. Another corpse. Alright, obstacle. We have shovels. Nature herself. A victim to the spreading corruption. There we go. Malformed with misintent. Next room. Empty. Increase illumination. Scouting. Thank you, Kamu. Alright, only curious and empty room. Not, not too hard. Cross. Alright, let's check the cross out. Shallow grave. Let's use a shovel. Packs ah, nice. Some feeds. The shovel was useful. 150 gold, big treasure, big treasure. Increase illumination, open door. Empty room, but very stylish ruins in the background. Yeah, always like this one's scouting bat. It's really nice, good scouting as always. There we go, and as said, Good scouting as always. Fight coming, so let's go and fight. Alright, only two ectoplasms, nothing else, and they are surprised. I'm sure how you surprise that simple a life form, but it is what it is. Alright. Curse them, not very useful, but there we go for one. Dodged even. Not the most dangerous bow ever. Such there we go. Both gone. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Move on. Alright, tree. Oh, tree. Let's check that out. Does it actually like... Can we use a torch on it? No effect. Poison or sap. Alright, resisted. Flight, so no problem. More light. Open door. Empty room. Next, please. Another obstacle, we have shovels. That's why you always bring enough shovels. Already looted. Oh, let's go. The world is pretty dark in general, but it is like you are in the dark woods, so no surprise there. Empty room, nice candles on the log, though. Right. Next room, please. All right. There's a corpse again. Let's check the corpse out. Mummified remains. So, what can we use on them? Like, just check them. Diseased. All right. Resisted. So not too bad. Crap. Okay. Very long corridor. More light. Quest complete. Did we still have a room left? So let's check that out. It's of course always kind of tempting fate, but we are finishing the quest so we tempt fate. And 
quite a bit more. Surprised and put some fungi and cultists, so such the madman is. Oh, thoughts mad or not. Let's try chemical warfare on them then. And some abyssal artillery. Critical, nice. Right, fungi. Alright. Good. Accusation. That's exactly the issue with the madman. He accuses you of things and then you get horrified. Dodge. Good. And then we have all the usual fungi attack. And attack. And miss. Of course, it might not be the most precise attack with the fungi. Let's just them and get rid of the madman. Let's next put Salty up to chemical warfare and take fire. Unforeseen, unforgiving. Good. And we have only one foe remaining. Pretty good pressure. Twenty-five gold, like, and you find even less gold, not home. easily. Last room. Is there a fight there? No. Seni ruins, though. All right, with the quest complete, we are good to finish here, so let's return to the hamlet. Every cleared path and charted route reduces the isolation of our trouble. I will state. not get too much stressor, but it was a pretty good run. Let's see if any of the heroes level up. Not bad for five and a half thousand and some heirlooms, so it was a good run, run also in that respect. Nobody leveled up, but almost. We are pretty close with both of those, so actually not useless at all. Again, let Archie. Let's treat them for that. Otherwise, stress situation is not even critical. Shadows hide the guilty and the guilty Playing low. The light. In the ensuing melee, two of the men escape the scene and are said to be at large. They are most idle highwaymen gain one resolve level. <laughs> right, so. Let's then treat, treat the. Treat the fighter again for lethargy. Always lethargy. Not really even need to necessarily reduce stress yet, so... We can still put sort by stress and let's put the worst cases... Worst cases here for some stress relief. There we go, both are clearly uh, interested, especially in gambling. Good. Then we are ready to finish, finish here. So, let's first of all wish, wish a good night and thank, thank every fur, every fur, everyone for joining and if you 
inside the Fairsuit Gaming and are not yet following, feel free to follow and turn notifications on. There's also a pretty consistently kept schedule. So, thank you everyone for joining and good night to you. And now we, as Kisu intended, we go for the raid. So let's Let's get them. Let's get them soon. Ah oh yeah, do remember, do remember their, their suit, there we go, so let's start the raid. Thank you Kisu for choosing the raid target. Here we go and good night. See you tomorrow.